Hey, good morning, guys. A farmer here. I'm just getting ready here to service the baler, and uh, we're headed out here today. If the sun comes out, uh, these last couple days here has been uh, ever since Sunday here. A little cloudy with a little uh, shower and stuff like that. It's hard to get uh, straw dry and grass hay dry right now. Um, so we have some uh, pretty good sized job here laying on the ground. It might get ready here later on the day or tomorrow. But I know they're calling for rain here on uh, Thursday and Friday, I guess, our best chance. So, yeah, it's just uh, July the 5th today. I hope everybody had a great uh, weekend. Um, I had a chance to watch a couple videos here on other farmers and... Uh, I think uh, as a farming community, we should up say positive things about other farmers. Um, I might not always, so, but it just kind of made me think a little bit. You know, we do uh, sell to horse farmers. Uh, we all come in different financial problems as a farmer somewhere along the line. But our end goal is to always pay our bills. Uh, I do a lot of custom work, and uh, I would never say anything bad about one of my customers, uh, because it's just, it's just, it, you know, that is absolutely rude. We all have uh, problem paying bills sometimes, but at the same time, at the end we all do, and uh, because we know what's right. Uh, I sell to horse farmers personally. I have never had any problem people paying me uh, my money. I might not have got it right away, but I didn't sit there and tear them apart. So, and I'm a beef farmer, and I buy in a lot of hay, and uh, I pay my bills. Um, another comment was made that beef farmers don't pay their bills. So, you know. It's a poor way of uh, making a video and, and just tearing people apart and, and then saying you don't care. Uh, I might get a lot of a lot of slack for this, but you know, we need it. We need to keep positive towards it, one another. It's rough enough as farmers. I don't care, big, small, or little. Um, but yeah, I'm just getting ready to service machine here. This baler uh, goes over a lot of ground. Um, but I, I take care of it. It gets waxed. We're going to clean it off here before we head out. I can't afford breakdowns. And uh, I know things happen. Um, but at the same time, I really got to be very careful because I don't have a deep checkbook to repair. This baler was only uh, serviced uh, by Messix uh, with two minor uh, jobs. One was a seal on the gearbox. The rest of the stuff I do, they came out the first time and uh, uh, went over it with me when we got it. And ever since, I've uh, been doing everything m myself. So... Yeah, and then you know in the comments we don't show our troubles. I did show that we had an, a bolt come off the auger. This was the major breakdown that this machine gave me. Was that auger? It's a brand new auger right there. A simple bolt came off the end, and you, you can't slow this machine down fast enough to to save that auger. It went right in the rotor. It didn't hurt the rotor. It didn't bend anything up. But yeah. Honestly, and this baler works flawless. I mean, um, I take care of it, grease it, keep the chains tight. That's the biggest thing is keep the chains lubed. But, um, you know, I'm not going to sit there and say we do uh, 5,000 acres, 25,000 acres and stuff like that. Uh, we're a medium-sized operation. And... Uh, we put a lot of bales through it, but um, 
So, it was just spritzing here a little bit. We're going to pull this thing out here and uh, blow it off and, and uh, grease it again. So, but yeah, my biggest... Uh, what I want to, my point I'm trying to get at, we don't need to tear down each other as farmers or customers. We all run in hard times as a farming community. So, if we would all do more uh, positive stuff with each other, um, you know, and work with each other, and don't go out there and say, pick out the horse farmers, don't pick out the beef farmers, uh, the custom operators that do custom work for other farmers. Uh, you just, I mean, you know, I wouldn't dare to start bad-mouthing people about they don't pay. And, and I, I have never ran in that problem, uh, you know, with people saying, you know, can you wait a couple more days or anything like that? It's just, I, I give them a bill and I say, pay it when you can. And, um. Uh, so, and we sell to the Amish too, and uh, they're good people, they just take a little time maybe to pay, but uh, I had this one call me yesterday, and said he has a check, and it's been there for a while, and he just forgot to call me, and I wasn't mad, but, um, so, I'm not perfect either, so don't get, don't get me like I'm all innocent and stuff, but, um, we all have bad days, but when you start pulling people out and saying how terrible they are and they don't pay their bills, I think that's, that's sad because, uh, we all run into hard times. Everyone, there's not a farmer on this world that hasn't ran into hard times. And, uh, if you did, if you didn't, you're pretty special. <laughs> So, all right, guys, I'm going to start it up here. I'm going to pull it over here and get ready to clean it up. So maybe by this afternoon we'll have a nice big uh, job here to do and uh, get it ready. Okay, i got to put some air in my seat. Get myself up here a little bit. One thing nice about YouTube, everybody has a way of uh, explaining their operation, and they're all different. Every one of us are different here on YouTube, and that's what makes it fun. If we all had the same way of doing things, you guys would only have to watch one channel and be done. Say, oh yeah, we know what that guy's doing the same day this guy is doing. I just think uh, we just got to make the best of things and uh, but so you can see it's really cloudy here we just had a spritz so you can see the hood of the tractor's wet so Sun needs to come out and the air's blowing now here, so then this weather's uh can get better or worse real quick. You never know. I'm gonna pull it over here and then we'll blow it off on this concrete pad and then we'll sweep the the stuff off the concrete and uh, put it in the garden for mulch. We bail a lot of hay here on the farm to stuff, but I still take in, we bring in about 500, we'll need about 550 bales of hay. And uh, with mulch prices not being very good right now, uh, I'm buying mulch hay, which that's hay over there that was rained on, but the beef cattle really like it. Um, there was 28 bales sitting there and there's 
we probably went through half of them already. So, yeah, we do get a lot of hay coming in. Uh, if the mulch prices are down and and then it's a uh, good, clean, uh, quality hay, beef cattle love it. And we'll grind it or whatever it takes to get it into their feed ration. So first thing I like to do is open this thing all up. And we'll get the leaf blower and we'll blow it off. I just did uh, put a little, uh, you can go back in a couple of videos, we just put a layer of wax on this thing. And this thing will clean up real nice. Uh, this is an older baler, by the way. I, a lot of you guys knew that. But, um... You just gotta take care of them. This is, they'll take care of you if you take care of them. It's uh, very important to keep that big chain well greased. And, um... Uh, don't let it get hot. I mean, it's like a new chain on there yet. The sprocket is in really good shape. This stuff builds up in here. And uh, I'll take about uh, 15 minutes. We'll blow it off here real quick. And then I'll let you look what it looks like afterwards. This is what I use here to uh, keep the baler clean. That's a... Uh, the BR uh, 600 and it puts a lot of air out so it doesn't take long so I'm gonna get that to work here and uh, it's a dusty job but everything works better when it's clean
equipment in good condition. Making sure it's well maintained, oil, grease, and everything's working properly and not beating the crap out of it when you're bailing or when you're using it. You know, you gotta know your conditions, you gotta know what you're doing and use the baler appropriately. If the field is rough, you wanna take it slow, make sure you're lifting your header before you hit any stones, if you're not quite sure about the field, when you're taking it slow, you can kind of see what's going on a little bit. If you know your fields, then you're a little bit at a, an advantage, because you know where the stones are, where the ditches are, and you can use it appropriately there, but. trading lubricant on the chain here uh, there was some grease on it but this is a, a chain that runs the header um, so we want to make sure that that is well taken care of this is what we typically use to do that it is a um, penetrating lubricant lubricates and displaces water and protects the metal so as we were running this we noticed that uh, this piece right here was loose so we wanted to tighten that up. It is one of the major wear points on the uh, baler. As you get more hours on the machine, um, that's something that we always check to make sure that it is tight. We like to make it nice and snug. And we're just running the machine just to, to check everything out and make sure it's all working appropriately. So the farmer's gonna go ahead and tighten that up now. If you run it loose, it increases your risk for uh, breakdown and something major happening. We always uh, tighten that while it's running just to make sure you get all the slack out of the chain. We did have an issue with this baler that the bolt right here came loose. It was from factory. It wasn't because we hit anything. Um, that came loose. It was not something that we knew to check. So we are going to keep checking it now. And what that bolt holds in is this auger right here. Um, and what happened was the auger actually went in. It came off and, and went in the baler. Um, and we had to replace it. So we're gonna go ahead and make sure that's tightened up. And we're gonna be making sure that it, it didn't, um, that none of the other stuff in here is off, is off either. All right, the other thing that we noticed is this chain right here is a little loose. So we're gonna snug that up a little bit. Um, it seems to be rubbing a little bit right here. Yuck. Um, this is all typical wear, but it's stuff that that we're looking at and trying to prevent anything from breaking on this. All 
All right, so the reason that we're pounding on it is because you can see back in here, there is a slot and that sprocket will slide down into the slot a little bit, allowing you to tighten the chain up. Now there's two uh, sprockets that you can slide. So we move to the other one now, just to make sure that they're both where they need to be. So this is just a little bit of what we're doing here to service the baler and make sure it's ready um, in the morning here. Um, as long as the sun comes out this afternoon, we will have another job to do. So we're just trying to make sure everything's in shape here and ready to go. So thanks for watching and have a great day.